Welcome, everybody. Um, this is January 11th, License Hearing and Public Safety Committee agenda uh, meeting. Um, I'm going to call this to order. Roll call. Alderperson Feldy, I am here. Alderperson Ackley is excused. Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Heideman? Here. Alderperson Salazar? Here. Okay. Stand if you're able for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, I think we pretty much went through who all of us are by roll call, um, but we do have one guest and one staff member. Two staff members. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chuck, do you want to? Chuck Adams, city attorney. Sarah Blodgett, sergeant for the Sheboygan Police Department. Kathy Hoffman, city attorney's office. All right. Um, approval of minutes from December 14th, 2022. I will make a motion to approve those. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Um, number six, resolution number 119-2223-1423. A resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to accept the and expend funds received from the Wisconsin Department of Justice as part of the Brian Memorial Justice Assistant Grant, JAG, program. Take it away. All right. Thanks, guys, for coming together for this. All right. <clears throat> the JAG grant, as we'll call it, helps supplement and offset the cost for the Sheboygan County Multi-Jurisdictional Enforcement Group. The Sheboygan County Meg Unit is the primary drug task force for Sheboygan County. We are a multi-jurisdictional task force. So we have Sheboygan Police Department, where I'm from, Sheboygan Sheriff's Department, Sheboygan Falls, and Plymouth Police Department as well. So the primary purpose of the drug unit is not only drug investigations, but also education and prevention as well. And this grant really helps supplement and offset the costs associated with running the multi-jurisdictional enforcement group. The grant's been awarded to the Sheboygan County Meg Unit for many years now, with the past nine years being the same awarded amount of $24,112. The eligible funds consist of a federal grant portion along with a state match, and there is no local matching funds required for this grant. The grant is really used, like I said, to offset the costs. Uh, we have a part-time secretary who really helps the investigators by entering reports uh, and doing other data information for us. It's also used for overtime costs accrued during drug investigations, uh, sends them to training, and also helps offset the cost of general operating um, items that we have for our office as well. So that kind of summarizes what the grant will be utilized for. Um, I will call on you in a second. Um, I do remember I've been on this committee um, for as long as I've been on the council. And I do remember that um, we pass this every every year. So, Joe? Yeah, I wouldn't say we would never deny money. Uh, when it, If our portion is 24,000, what's Plymouth, what's Sheboygan Falls? It's for the whole agency. Because we're multi-jurisdictional, it's for the whole team. It is not separated by different agencies. It's received by the, the MEG unit, which we operate as lead seed. Because, but the reason I asked is that though, maybe if we apply for this and get this, if the other communities are, uh, do they have enough? Can they? They do not. Anyway, the, they, the grant is solely uh, provided to multi-jurisdictional teams, okay. which is what all of us together are. And so then we have an MOU that combines all of us as one entity. It's not population based. No. Is it so? Or no. So other jurisdictions get it as well. Manitowoc, Green Bay, uh, and every year their allotted amounts remain. However, they determine that. So Green Bay gets the same thing we do, or they get more? They get more. Size, so by size? Or? So size, I think part of it, um, they also might get more. I don't know exactly how the state decides the allotted amount for each of the jurisdictions. Um, part of my understanding is because they have a waterway, they also get more 
uh, federal funding because they have ships that come in as well. Um, so each of like Manitowoc gets a very similar allotted amount to what we have. And then there's other multi-jurisdictional teams as well across the state that get them. You, you never have a, um, this isn't enough funds actually to do the job. Um, correct. Right. So how do we supplement anything else? I mean, when you're in the middle of the year and you went through your $24,000, do you stop investigating? <laughs> so we have an agreement with the Sheriff's Department and the City Police Department where each of them ultimately at the end of the year split the cost of whatever is over the grant. In, in addition. Okay. Yes. Yep. Dean, do you have anything? Um, just, I, I think the reason that they, that they bring this grant is, is to encourage communities to do these multi jurisdictional is because that's the best way to handle. So then I got, if somebody, if you've got somebody in the county and they're doing some dealing in Plymouth and they're, you know, it's, it's, or, or falls or whatever, it, it sure helps, helps to catch these kind of people that are doing, you know, these things. So. Amanda, do you have any questions? No. All right. All right. I need a motion. I'll make a motion to approve this resolution. Second. Any question? Any more questions or concerns? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed aye. nay. Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Motion carries. Number seven, next meeting date will be January 25th, 2023. And then I'm open for adjournment. Move to adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Chair votes aye also. <laughs> Motion approved.